Two steps out, you were on the road. Well, and then that the uh, Floyd's tool shed. Yeah. That was, was right next, next to the cow the, tank. The cow tank. So the cow tank, I was the cow barn tank was, was right really next to right. The tool the, shed, the, the milk tank or the water tank actually touched. Yeah, that right. Little shed. But that cow barn then was right would have been next right to, to the, the north. North, north, north of east of it. North of oh, yeah. I remember those buildings really well because one summer I painted just about, I painted that. And then I took over your job. And then, <laughs> well, it was really nice because that's how I earned my college tuition for fall. <laughs> that's what it was. My cheap. painting job. Yeah. And, 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 and it's, it's nice to work for your relatives because they pay well. Yeah. <laughs> You know I, what, when you I talk never about paid her. <laughs> you get paid, Phyllis? You know what? Well, I, I got paid because of horses and, you know, I got paid a lot of different I ways. See, you, yes. know, so. you were the horse now. Yeah. Oh. I do not remember Chip milking cows. I remember Floyd milking with, with uh, my mom in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. I'd rather <laughs> clean the bar than be working in the house. <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah. gee. laughs> And Floyd and I usually got stuck with a grain wagon, you know, when, when it, it, we elevated up into the yeah, grain so storage place. And I worried so about the horses because Floyd got so impatient with the horses. <laughs> Just did not want to go where he wanted them at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, really, it was yeah, in the, the big what we consider the horse barn, which is now our barn. I wonder if they didn't have, oh, they must have had 14 horses in there or oh, more. Oh, wow. I mean, oh, yeah. They did, you know, before the tractors came along. I mean, that, that's yeah. all they had was horses. Yeah. Well, they did all the horse when they were, you know. I'm sure they had them in when it was really bad, bad, you know, in front of the weather. But I, you know, I don't remember. A well-fed horse will stand outside, in the, in, you know. In the barn when. You know, I can and remember. He said, here, Amy, you get on this horse, and because I'd always have to go bring the cows in, you know, at supper time to get the cows in. Mm -hmm. So he said, you get on this horse now, and you go out <laughs> and get the cows. And that horse did not want to go out in the pasture at all. Was so that I, over to the, the, the farm next to where Mom and Dad were then? <clears throat> or were you south of Dawson, or by Dawson? Uh, this was by Dawson. By Dawson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was by Dawson because so I was older then. But I went out to get the cows and that was fine. We got the cows and that horse was so anxious to get home and back in the barn <laughs> and have his oats or whatever. He just galloped and I had nothing to hang on <laughs> to except these short little what yeah. reins is that what no, they are? Mane. And I was scared mane. out of my wits. I ended up hanging on to the hair, the mane. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was standing there laughing like everything. And I got jumped off that horse before it rammed my head off getting into the barn. 
And yeah, Dad said, that. all right, now you go get back on that horse. And I think it's the one time in my life I had enough nerve to defy my dad. I said, I will not. <laughs> That was the end of that. Get that out and have you all sign for this special day, too. But anyway, they wrote things like, you were my second mom. Oh, and, and then yeah. they'd come and tell me uh, one of the guys was having trouble with his dad at the time. <laughs> and so he practically lived here. And I, we had triple bunks downstairs. And it, it was soon apparent Rick needed his own room. So <laughs> we had an empty bunk. So. You know, there was usually somebody staying over after wrestling because the kids would get back in too late, country kids to get back home. So anyway, it was just fun. Oh. On your way, John. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. How beautiful. We haven't seen it yet. You don't even oh, know. Oh, my Maybe word. I see this. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they even wow. show us some barn quilts. Oh, this is Oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is Here, I'll help. Oh, Let's hold it all up for her to see the whole thing. Oh, look. That is beautiful. Look at the, the barns all have the barn quilts on. Okay, now that is Norwegian oh or Seth Sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the round bar, the round bar. No, 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 no. Yeah. The guys that, have that, no yeah. design <laughs> on the <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. No corner. This is, that is a yes. that a tradition. Just came to it. Ask Phyllis, I don't know. Barn quilts. I think it started in the United States, actually. I think it started in the United States. Because you see that on barn Oh, I just watched it. I just loved her. And Harold, we tried to make nice to each other. And if he'd meet me at the mailbox, everything would be fine, and then he'd get on politics. <laughs> and before he knew just what buttons to press, <laughs> and before long, I just, I could have throttled him. I really could have. And, 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 but our last years after Marge died and Gordy died, well, I never did get down to the mailbox, but Harold would, um, we check on each other's lights just to make sure everything was all right. Twice Harold called and he said, Amy, no lights are on down there. I have to make sure you're all right. <laughs> and so it was just the neatest thing. This, yeah. You know how. So, so we were really buddies by the time he died. Yeah. I remember when he hook a, hook a sleigh up. Oh, yeah. I think that was that was yeah. more recent history. Yeah. Actually, right. we were yeah. a little yeah. older, but he had, uh, he had he uh, had uh, oh, uh, oh, he brought us to the state had, that, But that's you know he had his oh, team Lord. constantly through, yeah. the, I can do through the threshing bees, yeah. stuff yeah. like that. And, and, oh, I think yeah, I was trying to sticking out of my wrist. Oh gosh! And she said. Well, don't tell Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, so the first thing I went to do, he said, Daddy, look what I did. Oh. And he said, oh, Amy, we're going to have to get that taken care of. <laughs> he was so nice. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys all, you had Grandma and Grandpa. And I never really did have grandma and grandpa <coughs> at all. But Chet and Melby were never were involved with the Christmas, you know, afterwards Before after Kathy. you got, got married. But, oh, Christmas there with all the food that she would oh, make. Well, I remember the, the, at Christmas, the, the spreads we had at oh, Christmas Eve. Three pounds of meat. Oh my word! Really? And then Chet would always—I just thought Chet oh, just, just keep your mouth shut tonight. <laughs> Chet always would go through the lutefisk, and this is when you pick lutefisk out of a barrel outside. <laughs> and Chet always would find a little worm, you know, the same color <laughs> every Christmas Eve. And so some 
<laughs> even with all the melted butter, it I'm never surprised tasted a, quite a worm could even live in Lutefisk. Yeah, after it's so <laughs> warm <laughs> and I love it. Because, because of the, but, the sugary butter melted on there and the, and the brandy that. Oh, oh yes. that's we, we, fantastic. We, we, we sometimes we set the end yeah. of our table on fire with the. Uh, oh, Gordy, and lighting I the, lighting the, like uh, the light the pudding. plum pudding. Oh, and yeah. the flame it. Blue you know, flame make this and big and then, Oh, wait, that's a tablecloth. They, they got the privilege of babysitting <laughs> the girls. And Melvie would take two kitchen chairs and put together and make a little bed for me there. <laughs> and she said, now, Amy, you can go to sleep here in the kitchen where I felt, you know, if, if there was ever a secure, safe place in the world where you wanted to go when everything <clears throat> was falling apart, it was their kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It just, that's where you were taken care of. Mm -hmm. So, you did so I would immediately go to sleep there and then I'd get carried some other place and then before I knew it, my dad would be carrying me out to the car. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, just...